Here are the important differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells are usually larger than prokaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells have small compartments inside them called organelles. Eukaryotic cells have a membrane-bound nucleus that houses DNA. Prokaryotes do not have a nucleus. Their DNA is carried on a small, circular chromosome in the cytoplasm. Eukaryotic cells can be specialized building blocks of multicellular organisms. All of the organelles in the eukaryotic cell are compartments or structures with specialized functions. They work together, forming a complex system that enables the cell to carry out all of life's functions. Here we have a eukaryotic cell, which has a nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi body, cell membrane, vacuole, lysosomes, mitochondria, cytoplasm, and ribosomes. A cell membrane is a thin, flexible structure that separates the cell's interior from the external environment. It resembles a plastic bag, but with pores to allow material to move in and out of the cell. Cell membranes are made up of phospholipid molecules that stick together. They also have proteins that help to control what goes in and out. Cytoplasm includes all the cell's organelles and cytosol, a jelly-like solution filling the inside of a cell that holds organelles in place. Everything in the cell except the contents of the nucleus. Cytosol is the clear solution. The nucleus stores the cell's DNA, the chemical instructions for life, and directs the cell's functions. The nucleus is enclosed by a double cell membrane structure called the nuclear envelope. The nuclear envelope has many openings called nuclear pores. Nuclear pores help the nucleus communicate with other parts of the cell. Inside the nucleus is a dense region known as the nucleolus. The nucleolus is where ribosomal RNA, or rRNA, is made and ribosomes are assembled. DNA can be seen in the form of chromatin, which is uncondensed. The endomembrane system is involved in the production and transportation of a cell's proteins and other products or wastes. The organelles of the endomembrane system include the nuclear membrane, the endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi apparatus, transport vesicles, the cell membrane, and lysosomes. These membrane structures form compartments that are all connected with one another. Endo means within, membrane means thin barrier. Here is a diagram of the endomembrane system. When RNA leaves the nucleus, it enters the endoplasmic reticulum, or ER. ER is a series of membrane-bound sacs and tubules and is continuous with the outer membrane of the nuclear envelope. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum, rough and smooth. Rough ER has ribosomes attached to its membrane, thus a rough appearance. These ribosomes synthesize proteins that will be used in the plasma membrane, secreted outside the cell or shipped to another organelle called a lysosome. As proteins are made by the ribosomes, they enter the lumen, or opening, of the ER, where they are folded and processed. Ribosomes assemble amino acids into proteins under the direction of RNA. Proteins are the molecular machines of the cell. The ribosome is made of ribosomal RNA, or rRNA, and proteins. This is where translation occurs. Ribosomes consist of two subunits, a small and a large one. Each subunit consists of proteins and rRNA. The two subunits assemble around an mRNA molecule when proteins need to be made. This type of endoplasmic reticulum is called smooth because it lacks ribosomes on its surface. It looks smooth compared to rough ER. There are a variety of functions of this organelle, which include making lipids, processing certain drugs and poisons absorbed by the cell, and storing calcium ions, for example, in muscle cells. Note, the liver is an organ that detoxifies substances that are brought into the body. Therefore, liver cells have huge amounts of smooth ER.